So we'll move on to uh, our girl orders and where you allocate cookies. This volunteer has allocated cookies to the girls. All of these allocated cookies deal with the receipts that the parents signed. She is also allocating the payments that the parents turn into her so she can keep a running total of what the girl still owes in the family. So if we turn and we look at Avery, we click on Avery's name and it opens up her database. And in her database, it shows the cookies she picked up on 2-4 and it's 286 packages. She made a payment also on 2-4 of $20. So this volunteer has all that information in there. It's a running Excel form. It's really easy for them to keep. If they were going to add another transaction, you would click on add a transaction. It opens the boxes at the bottom. So we always suggest that you use the comics comment box. So on this, it could be two six returned some cookies. Uh, I'll work on the spelling in a while. <laughs> okay. There we go, that's what I missed. And so if someone is returning cookies to you, it's going to be a negative number. So say Avery brought back five packages. So what, it, what you do is a negative five in there. And if she brought back 10 packages of this flavor, which is Samoa's. Oops. And then after you have what in there what you want, you click on the OK. Now this isn't completing your step. You have to click the save. So you would click the save. It keeps that in the system. And then you can move on to the next girl right from the summary. So we're going to go back to Avery and we're going to say, oh, I made a mistake. This was not what she gave me. We'll open up that line again to her receipt book. And this time, I'm just going to take the information out because Avery hasn't returned cookies yet. So I'll go in there and make it a zero. And then I'll click OK and I'll click Save. Now the system will keep that line in there. So if you had to zero out a line, you could still use this line again and add the new information if you needed to. If Avery was taking cookies out, you would click on the line that was open or add a transaction. You can put in the date. Took cookies. You could add how many packages that she took. So say 10 there, 20 there, 40 there. And then when you go over and click OK, it's going to tell you how much money those cookies are then again, you are going to click that save. So we're going to open this again, just so I remember to zero it out. Because this is a live troop that we're looking at. Say Avery made a payment and that's all she's doing. Instead of having to add a transaction, you would add a payment. You can put the date, maybe mom and dad are divorced. So it could be mom, and the date, and then you would put in um, the amount. You would click OK, and you would click Save. And what that does, it adds the amount that she paid. Let me do this. Okay, so since I did this, I have to put a number in there. So I will just put zero in there and I'll click save. 